Hi, my name is Tim Preeby with TNS Web Design in Oklahoma City. Now that we've got the basics of WordPress figured out, let's go ahead and move on to something more advanced. This time we're going to take a look at how to insert a table into a WordPress post using the plugin WP Tables Reloaded. To add a table to our website, we'll go to Tools and then WP Table Reloaded. On this first page, we see a few different options. And, and down below, we see a list of all the tables we currently have created. Our options include list tables, which we're already on, add a new table, import a table, export a table, and then the overall plugin options, as well as information about the plugin. Let's go ahead and click on add new table. We're going to add a test table. And we'll go ahead and leave description blank. The rows and columns default to five each, but for our test purposes, we'll change those to three. Then we'll click on Add Table. Now you see all the information on one screen about this table. Up top, we have the information we just set, and next is the actual content. We'll go ahead and insert some dummy data here so that we can see what it actually looks like. Down below we have a lot of data manipulation options including the inserting and deleting of rows and columns and swapping of rows and columns. Below that we have the table settings. The first setting is for alternating row colors although your theme may provide that functionality itself so if you uncheck this it may still have alternating row colors. In fact all of these settings may be overridden by your actual website's settings. We don't want to display the description or the name of the table, so we'll make sure those are unchecked. And we already mentioned that the first row we wanted to be the heading, so we'll go ahead and leave this right here checked. If you want a data tables JavaScript library to be displayed and usable, with your table, you'll want to leave this checked. This can be useful if someone's constantly looking for data in an extremely large table. Our table is really small, and so we'll go ahead and uncheck that. And in most cases, you'll want it unchecked. Below that are specific settings for that JavaScript sorting. And so we have those turned off. Uh, we have that turned off, so all of those are turned off down below. Let's go ahead and click on Update Changes. And then we have the, a tab open here where we have a page open to edit. We'll go ahead and insert the table. I'll go ahead and hit enter to make some space in between these two paragraphs. And then I'll click on this button right here that says insert a table. We'll select our test table, click insert, and then click the button to preview changes. And there we can see what our table looks like when it's actually inserted into the text. If we decide for any reason we don't want that table, we simply highlight this short code and delete it. As I mentioned, back on the table page, we can swap two rows fairly easily. Let's go ahead and check these two rows, and we'll scroll down and actually swap rows two and rows three. We'll click on swap and we can see that they've been changed. Or we might actually want to delete an entire row. Let's go ahead and check a row to delete and down here we'll click on delete the selected row. Then we'll confirm that we're sure. Once we've done that you can see that the row is gone. Let's go ahead and insert it back into a page, this time at the bottom of the page, and see what it looks like. And now you can see we just have two rows. 
Note that this edit link below is only visible if you're logged in as an administrator. Clicking on edit there allows you to jump straight to the screen to edit that specific table. Thanks for watching. Look for our next video in which we'll cover the basics of WordPress widgets. If you're a TNS client, you can give us a call to schedule your Q&A training session at 405-285-0348.